This is a continuation of a series which I stopped playing just over a year ago. If you haven't watched the first 17 episodes of the series, click where it says click here, or if you can't, click the link in the description and watch them first before watching this episode, otherwise you're going to have no idea what is going on. And I'd just like to clarify, I say that I haven't played this in two years, it's actually been a year. Just, just in case you point that out in the video later on. Okay? Enjoy the video. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. After two years, I really don't know why I stopped Knights of the Old Republic. I just, I got to like episode 17 or something? I can't remember. And then I just stopped. And I never returned to it again in two years. I think it was because I was trying to concentrate on my Star Wars The Old Republic playthroughs. But now that we've kind of lost two of them now. Because this, this, this weekend, my Imperial Agent and my Trooper in the Blind episodes will be over. After 30 episodes, they'll be over. I know, I know. But in its place, every Friday night will be Night City Republic. Now, the reason why it's a Friday night, now this, you're, you're gonna love this. Somebody gave me the idea a long time ago, about two weeks ago actually. <laughs> uh, how about, Charlie, you do a Jedi Knight playthrough and call it Saturday Night. Get it? The Saturday Night, yeah? But I thought, I can one-up that. So rather than doing a Jedi Knight, because I don't want to do a Jedi Knight because I've already Finish Jedi Knight story, so I don't want to do that again. I want to do it on my own time, blah de blah de blah. Ooh, Edge has posted an announcement. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, this playthrough from this point on will now be called Friday Nights of the Old Republic. Ah, get it? So every Friday, every Friday night, or every Friday or so, we will have a brand new Koto episode. Hopefully, I'll stick to it, but. We shall see where we go. I probably won't. Each episode will be about half an hour to an hour. Probably about the same length as a Trooper in the Blind or uh, Imperial Asian episode. Basically. Now if you don't know what has happened up until this part. Make sure you click that link at the beginning of the video. To, to show you what we've been doing in the last 17 episodes. I don't know how many episodes. I think it was like I think it was 17 episodes. Just so that you know where we're up to in the story and so forth. Basically... We've now reached a point in the story where we're encountering the Star Forges. Sort of. Well, not encountering the Star Forges. The map of the Star Forge, I should say. So this is the very first map of the Star Forge we have encountered. I really should have brushed myself up on the story before I carried on with this. Because I cannot remember for the life of me what we actually did. I know we had to go into this cave and find what was inside. Because this was the cave that Malik and Revan went to for some reason and now we know why because of the map of the Star Forge. And I tried looking I've tried looking in my quests and for some reason uh it doesn't say anything about the Star Forges in my quest, which is weird. But it just says about Basler and stuff like that. So I again, two years ago, I can't remember what what what, what we did two years ago now. So there we go. I hope you're glad that Night Seal Public is back, whether you're watching or not, I have no idea. So there we go. I I don't know what I'm doing now. I I guess I think the last time we left off, we said that we were gonna go to that base a long time ago. To oh, actually, is there stuff I need to? Oh, there is stuff I could explore. I could go left and right. Actually, no. I've only been left and right. Yeah, because I went to the far right. Oh yeah, because I was this droid. And yeah, as far as you can go. I think I said I was gonna go. M -m Move. Thank you. I was gonna go to this house. Or for something, because there's like a... I don't know what. What is it? It's like a... Uh, I think it's for the missing companion one, or... Oh no, we need to kill the Mandalorian Raiders. And the problem was the problem was last time, is that I was kind of sucking at this game. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get Cly Marsh. Remember, Cly Marsh is also Dark Side. Because I did because when I played it on my own time, one time when I was like 12, I did Light Side, and this time I'm going to do Dark Side and see what happens. Uh, so yes, and I cannot really get his 
combat right. I couldn't do it the last time. Hopefully I can improve on it. But we shall see. I'm also trying to record this in 60 frames per second. But it's kind of dropping down to like 55, 52. So I don't really know how I'm going to render this video. Yeah. It may end up being 460. This video may look a bit weird. Otherwise in future videos I'll have to cap it at 30 frames per second. It's even jittery. Ugh. That's horrible, uh, but we'll just have to. You'll just have to go over it for now. I, I, I apologize if it makes you sick, but still, still, right? Where are we actually going to go? <sighs> we could go back to the Jedi Enclave because I think now that we found the map of the Starforge, actually, did we even encounter with the Starforge? We probably should encounter with it because maybe that's where I went wrong and I haven't encountered, uh, actually interacted with it. But did we do that last time? I don't really know. Better go back and find out. <laughs> Uh, I'm an idiot. It, it's very laggy this game. Even though it's like running at like 50 frames per second, it still feels very jittery and laggy, which is weird. Very, very weird. Hello, Ocean Droid. I don't need you, but I need the Star Forge map if I can interact with it. I really don't know if I can. Doesn't look like I can though. No. Hmm. Okay. Mm, nope. All right, back we go. They seriously one day need to make a HD collection of this game. Because, oh, I'm, st I'm stuck! Uh-oh, I am actually stuck. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'll be going now. I will be go- Looks like I won't be going, I better go- <laughs> uh, This is a 2003 game, so it will be quite old, but I better load myself back into the old load. It's a good job- Oh, imagine if I would saved. Oh, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? If I'd saved, oh, I'd be stuck there forever. Although I would have many other saves to go to, but I mean, I'd have to do it all over again, and I don't want to do that. Anyway, let's actually. I, I really don't know if I, I really don't know if I can be bothered to go back to that house from two years ago and explore. Because I remember the last time when we went to that house, there was like a droid or something guarding it, so I couldn't get in. So I think the only way I could get in is if I did dark side, if I killed it. So that may be the only way we can get in. But I can't even remember which way it was to be honest. Um, I guess we'll try this way and see if it is this way. Um, yeah. We encountered Jahani last time. Did we get her? Yeah, she went back to the, yeah, cause she went back to the Jedi Enclave, didn't she? She did. Ooh, pretty. This is very pretty. Oh god, no cow founds. No! I don't want to start fighting! I suck at fighting! Uh, I guess it wasn't this way that we had to go. Bastila, why are you always in my way? God, Bastila! I hate you, Bastila. Uh, right. I don't want to... I, I better do that for sure. How many med pack, like regular med packs do I have? 24. Okay, so I stockpiled enough. I stockpiled. Um, uh, oh, the house is this way. So it's... Ah, there it is. Yeah, the house, house is over there. That's where I wanted to go. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to kill the calf hound, aren't I? Yep. You're gonna come after yep, I know. I know. Thank you. You will engage, finally. And you're dead. Lovely. I thought I thought it was gonna be a lot difficult. A lot more difficult, but it wasn't. Cooey! Right, I should probably actually say I should what is the auto save button as in quick save? Because that will come in handy a lot. Um Gameplay, maybe. Uh, key mapping. No, quick save isn't on here. It should be. Oh wait, game. Quick save, quick save, quick save. F four, lovely. I'm gonna be F four because remember, if you die, you go right back to the last save. So save often, people. Save often when you're playing Kotor. I'm hoping. Once I finish KOTOR, which probably won't be until like episode 70, this is going to take a long time. So maybe I may have to do like, at, at some point I may upgrade to like two episodes a week, just to try and get as much done as possible, because this game is a long game. It's a very long game. Uh, I need a pass card, which I don't know where you get the pass card from. So I may have to do it the cheeky way and kill this droid. Sorry droid. I'm going to F4 just so that if I do this decide to change my mind. Dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my weapons are my authority! I am programmed not to respond to threats until attacked directly. I have been programmed to defend myself accordingly. 
But even if I am terminated, another will take my place. You will still be denied entrance. Leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted within the estate. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes. Shut up, Karth. I don't care about you. I just realized your voice actor is the same person as the ma the very first side quest you encounter on Korriban. I, I think it might not be, but it kind of sounds like it is. But I guess I can't attack you then. Where do I get the pass card from then? This is yeah, 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 yeah. You have come from the Jedi. Oh, here we go. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I do have some private business. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a weird walk, Bastila. Okay. 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 You don't My have to. My protocol droid tells me <laughs> you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Uh, you can't accuse Sandals without proof. Proof? How dare you talk to me about proof? I have more than enough to satisfy any reasonable person. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrils would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently I discovered several Sandril droids trespassing on my land. Uh, what happened to the droids? My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. Or maybe they it were just shortly there. after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Or maybe he's actually working, perhaps, with them. The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible... Yes, of course. Now I understand. What? I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrils. Oh. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Uh, make it two thousand and you have a deal. Two thousand? Your greed is outstripped only by your utter lack of any sense of proportion, Jedi. 2,000. Even if you would pay such a fee, what could you possibly need so many credits for? for Rich, that baby! Price, I could purchase enough droids to destroy the entire Sandral estate. 2,000 is out of the question. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. But he's I'm right. Impressed, Karth. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid <laughs> Alana's not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. And he's still there. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. Yeah, he can I've hear seen you. men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. Yeah, Until he Until you can't find hear you. Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate lest I take matters into my own hands. Alrighty. Uh, I got dark side points. Lovely. <laughs> I guess we're going to make our way south then. Which, well, I can't make my way south. 
<laughs> I know, I've got to take the path which is through there across the bridge. It is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, I've missed this game so much. But I, it was so much better when you got to just travel the galaxy to whatever planet you wanted to. Ah, I can't wait till we get to that part. I really can't. We can, we can leave on the Ebon Hawk and we can just explore the worlds. <sighs> it's gonna be so great. Equipment pack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Equipment pack. Equipment pack. Is there anything inside? Uh, actually, I think we established there wasn't anything inside. Yay! I got the items of nothing. Yay! We're gonna make our way south! <sighs> this tree is everywhere. <gasps> it's the same tree over and over. Is it a conspiracy? <laughs> Probably. Save! Wait, is this, this the path south? Yeah, that's the path south, isn't it? So I'll be going to the grove then. Unless they live in the grove. Have I, have I been to the grove yet? I really don't know. Um, oh, well, I've not been to the... Gathounds! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, concussion grenade. And then an ion grenade. Yep, that sort of worked. Lovely. Oh, oh that really worked. <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, this could be bad that they're all after just me. And I'm, they're, they're missing. My, my attacks are missing. Uh, let's, let's attack you, actually. You're dead. Lovely. Uh, let's do an improved power attack. Lovely. Oh, yeah, of course you have a healing ability battle, don't you? Lovely. You're down. And you're down. Seriously, I thought attacking was going to be... Have they sort of, like, patched this game lately or something? Because somehow I'm doing okay. Don't know how, but I am. Which is weird. But anyway, uh, am I going the right way? Sa oh, there we go. Sandal grounds. Lovely. We are going the right way. Because we need to go to the sandals. I wonder if they have their own estate. They do! And they even have their own droid. Ha 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 ha. Quick save. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to be seeing me do that a lot, most likely. Sandra Droid. Hello. Oh, you don't look as lethal, at least. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Uh, I come on behalf of the Jedi Council. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Matali's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandros are not involved. This is nothing but a Matali witch hunt. Uh, I'm not in league with the Metallies, but I must speak to Nurek. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. We'll here now. Alrighty, let's go inside. Lovely. Lovely. I bet the house is going to be big on the inside. You just watch. It looks small from the outside, but inside it's just going to be a I have a been mansion. informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Oh, have you now? Uh-huh. I come here on behalf of the Jedi Council. I'm investigating the disappearance of Shen Mattel. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. You're not That's even looking at him. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. He can hear All you! Is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Yes. Um, do you know something about Shen's disappearance? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Uh, Cassus disappeared? Yes. Cassus was my brother. Cassus. He was working on archaeological digs here in Dantooine when he disappeared. My father blamed Alan Metale and his son. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. 
Uh, I only want to find Shen Matao. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please, tell me what has happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. Oh, He is holding okay. a prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Matales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Uh... Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Uh, I will go now. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Wow. Episode 4 reference there. <sighs> Help me, Climarsh. You're my only hope. Uh, right. Where are we going? I don't know. Is there a map for this house? There is. Lovely. Uh, there's screen tearing for me, but of course you can't see the screen tearing. You do not see anything, droid. You do not. Oh, non family members not permitted. Are not permitted entrance. What? Non family members are not permitted entrance. Oh, enter. What? Well, no. Ah, whatever. Uh, is this where we gotta go? Now that takes me back outside. Well, I don't want to do that. Um, unless we go through this door? No. Nurek has nothing more to say to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be going now. My blah, 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 blah. Uh, I have the key, but. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to use. The ah, of course. That's that's how this game works. You would use the key, wouldn't you? Uh, key, 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 key. I don't know where the key is. Where would the key be? Key, key, key. Um. There we go. Rahash's key. Oh. Uh. Open the room. Oh, I need to go back outside. Okay, I need to go back outside. Should have paid more attention. Stupid me. And then we'll make our way around. Lovely. Ooh. Pretty, pretty steam. Uh, is this the door? Mm, I think so. I think this might be the door. Although it's not really the rear, is it? It's more the side, isn't it? Uh, ah, hello! Um, hi. <laughs> uh, we will attack you. Wow, that was quick. Practically killed you instantly. Lovely. Uh, and Carve, can you uh -huh. disable the mar- No, no, you can't. I'll just have to make sure yes. that nobody goes through it. Nobody go through the mine! You are so close to- You are so close, Bastila. You are pushing my patience. You really are. Uh, ooh, anything in the lockbox? Uh, ooh, could I destroy it? I could, actually. Lovely. 25 credits and a med pack. Thank you. I'm just gonna rob you of all your things. Yeah, don't don't mind me. Oh, remains, remains. Uh, energy shield, lovely. Security room. Hi, hello. Nothing to see here. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, blimey, there's a bunch more in here. Flurry. I leveled up. Yay, I leveled up. You asked for this. Apparently, they asked for it, even though we're breaking into their home. Indeed. Uh, do I auto level up? I don't know. I usually just auto level up, don't I? Um, Cause I'm a Jedi Sentinel, am I? Oh, okay. Only, only because I I never know what attributes to put things up. So I think for now I will just auto level up and just let it do it itself because I'm dumb like that. I really am. Uh, do the I'm same. With, do yes. the same with Bastila. Yep. Auto level up. Lovely. And there we go. Right, foot locker. Anything inside? Uh, some parts. <laughs> some parts. Uh, you look like you're about to show me some remains, but oh well. And uh, we'll look at the 
panel. How many spikes? Oh, I have two. Mm, there's no point in wasting my time with that then if I've only got two. Save! Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Yeah, you don't need to do that for flash mine. What? What? How dare you say what to me? Ah. <sighs> uh, surely the. Nope, just, just a frag mine. Um. How else have we got to go to? Um. That door has another security room there, unless that's just the opposite side. No, it's not. No, two droids in there. Lovely. This is seriously a lot easier than I thought it was. Did I change the difficulty or something? I really don't know. Why is this a lot easier than it used to be? I don't know. Hi! I'm just attacking you all just because I can. And hey, experience. Seriously. It is so easy. I can't stress enough how easy it is killing these enemies now. Or maybe it's because I have the lightsaber. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Uh, where's this door? Lead. It leads back here. Oh no. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I just find myself in places. And I'm just going with it. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just exploring and trying to find a bunch of stuff for me to steal. There's nothing in here because I've already been in here. That's why. Uh, move, move car. Thank you. I should take the remains. Anything good? Some stuff which I probably don't even use. Probably not. Uh, let's go through this door. If you could. The 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 the, the traveling in this game is a lot more difficult than. Throw it all. For obvious reasons. Lovely, some more credits. <sighs> um, <laughs> nothing. Except a nice, lovely, comfortable bed. Hi! Hello! Uh, flurry. Oh, I want a flurry right now. Oh, that's, oh, that's deactivated! Oh! Could I activate it then? Well, with the spikes I have, there wouldn't be any points, would there? Because. Um, it'll just activate and that's it. One repair part. Oh, I do have some repair parts then. Mm, again, I don't think there's any point because I've practically killed all the enemies anyway. Yeah. Save. Huh. Uh, what else have I got to explore? I've got to explore and... I didn't mean to do that. Uh, ha-ha! Oh. Find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going now, but I'm going to steal what's in your chest. Hope you had nothing. Yes. What? No, never mind. Never mind. Thank you. Uh, and I shall take what's in your chest. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I shall take your heart. I shall take your heart. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, ooh, some more foot lockers. Lovely. Anything good? Two repair kits. I shall take those. Re Any more repair kits? Nope. Computer spike. Lovely, lovely. Uh, ha ha! More foot lockers. Even better. A response package? Whatever they do. I'll, fight, I'll figure it out one day. Frag grenades! Yes! Thank you. Sonic rifle. I think that's what it said. Uh, and. There's. I don't. Yeah, I don't care about the frag grenade. Um, is that all the doors? Well, apparently there's this door, but I can't. Oh, because that's. Yeah, that's why. Uh, because the other side is thingy. Where else have we got to go? I think that's it. I th think I've explored everywhere. Haven't I? Um, I've explored everywhere and I've not found him. Which makes me think I have gone the wrong way. Maybe. Uh, you wouldn't be there unless you got some... Okay, I was going to say, you wouldn't be there unless you had some... Thingies. Uh, right. What else have we? Oh, oh! I went to every single door apart from that one. Is this? Oh, what's in here? I shall bash it in. It's gonna take me a little while, but I shall bash it in. Uh, oh, wow! One hit pretty much did it. There we go. Lovely. Be something good. Be something good. Be something good. Yay! Advanced med pack. Wonderful. What's through this door? Uh, oh, that's just. Oh, that's the way we came in. Lovely. I don't care about the frag. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You put the frag grenade.
in front of the pr And I can't... Hmm. I'm here. You can't either. Yes. As long as no... Yeah, 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 stay. Stay. Do not move through the thing. Do not move through it. Do not cast. Uh, right. There we go. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Uh, I'm here to rescue you, Cher. Well, my mouse has disappeared. My mouse has actually disappeared. Um. Yep, my mouse has disappeared. I'm kind of stuck. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. Uh, I'll protect you, Shen. Let's get on oh, my mouse back. Phew! It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. Mm. If you don't go with me, I'm trying. What if we take Rahasia with... Mm. Yeah. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Uh, I'll go speak to her. Well, thank you. I wish you luck. I know I'm dark side, so I really should be dragging her out. I was going to say, I thought the mine had gone. I really, sh I really should be dragging him out, sorry. Um, but, I don't know, I just felt like not doing that. I don't know if I could be bothered. I don't know if I could be bothered with that. Because no doubt, it'll go wrong that he'll be like, No! I will fight you! And I'll have to kill him. Most likely. Uh, where the hell has she gone? She's disappeared! Where are you? Oh, your room's around here, isn't it? There it is. Hello, Rahasia. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Uh, I'm trying to rescue Shen, but he won't leave without you, Rahasia. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Well, I have kind of killed all the droids for you. You you realize that, don't you? Hmm. I'm going to get light side points for this, aren't I? Oh, well, every once in a while, I've got to do a good deed. <laughs> every once in a while, mind. Not all the time. Uh, around the corner. I, I know there's a frag mine! God! You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yep, and she's promised to meet us outside the gates. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Alrighty. Going into the loading screen to do it. Fine. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. Uh, Shen's father promised me a reward. What? You, you're just doing this for the reward? Yep. How could you? I thought you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Charlie! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Um. Why don't you just shoot each other and get it over with? No, Father, don't do this! We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. Ha! For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead and rotting in the ground. Um... If you fight, you'll be all, you'll all be killed. I have my own life, Father, and I want to spend it with Rahasia. You're too immature to do anything on your own. Wow. I can do whatever I want. You can't control me. Yeah, you don't have a controller. Uh, oh, I could be so dark there. Rahasia doesn't love you anyway. Ah, no, you could never make Rahasia happy. I, I could try, couldn't I? I would... You know nothing of what it would be like with that... That sandrel. Wow! Go away from that sandrel harlot, Chen. 
Come back with me. I... I... Uh... You want to trust yourself to a woman who would betray her own father? No, I don't believe you. Rahasia and I love each other. You know she was just using you. No, Rahasia would never do that. She's a Sandral boy. They're no good for anything. You lying Matale dog. My Rahasia is twice the man your son will ever be. Why? Why all of this? Why are you fighting? Uh, your families will never get along, Shan. I suppose I should have seen it from the beginning. That our hopeless romance would be doomed to failure. Please, Shen, it doesn't have to end this way. Yes, it does. It would never work. Our families are too different. Shen! No! Uh, there's nothing you can do, Rahasia! Shen, wait! I love you! Don't say that to me, Rahasia. Let's try to stay calm, rational. We both know it wouldn't work. Let's not get all emotional and end up hating each other. Uh, oh, bloody hell! I've only just noticed how pale I am! Whoa! Uh, sometimes you have to make hard decisions. Yes, and I thank you for showing me what I had to do. I'm ready to leave now, Father. Let's go home, then. Here is your reward, Jedi, for your assistance. Thank this you. This isn't over, Sandrals. I will take this affront directly before the Jedi Council and see you exiled from this world. Shen, no! Why is the camera spinning like that? That's Come weird. Come inside, Rahasia. Let's get the stink of that Matale dog off you. Yay. I got some dark side points. And yet, Karth and Basila said nothing. What? Absolutely nothing. Is there a way to turn off the dark side effect, um, affliction? Because I really don't like it, though. Blimey, I'm really getting dark. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I assume it'd be in gameplay. Um... Oh well, yeah, I do have it on easy. Wow. Wow, that's that's bad of me, but hey. Uh no. Graphics. No. I guess not. I guess I have to deal with the veins which I have. Right, now that we've done that, I we could mm. Well, I've done I've done that. So that mission's complete. But there's still uh Mandalorian Raiders and the missing companion to figure out. So, should we do that next time, maybe? I don't know. Or should we just move on, go back to the um, Jedi Council? We might just do that, actually, because I really... We've done that part. Yay, hooray, we've, we've done that. So, let's just, let's just move on now from Dantooine. And then we'll see what other exciting adventures shall await us. Yes, shall await us. Ooh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I can't remember what they were called. Um, Thranta, that's what they were called. Of course they were. <sighs> See, I'm remembering stuff. I'm remembering stuff. Right, uh, which way is to the Jedi Council? Jedi Enclave. That's path north. That's the path north. That's path south. I don't know which would take me to the Jedi Enclave. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just return to the Ebon Hawk? Oh, wow! Oh, I never noticed this existed. Well, let's just return to the Ebon Hawk then. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll just go down that way. Lovely. Uh, Basilis seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. Yeah, she's so distracted. She's going, <laughs> Speak to Basila. How can I help? Uh, you look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering you. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Uh, I don't believe in this bond, regardless of what the Jedi Council said. Deny it if you will, but there is a connection between us. I understand why you would find this disturbing. I have my own reservations about it, to be honest. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Uh, our relationship? Is this some kind of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. <laughs> uh, whoa! Guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. So technically, I touched a nerve. Are you going to answer my questions? Or would you rather just keep annoying me? 
Uh, okay, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Uh, I'm a hut in human form, <laughs> plotting to overthrow the Republic. I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now, will I? I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy, and a little more like a... like a man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Basil, I just couldn't resist. Wait, maybe I am really a hut in disguise. You know? It's, it's like, one of these days, right? If you have a very, very dark secret, you need to somehow put that into a conversation and tell somebody your dark secret, but then they'll still think you're telling lies. It'd just be, it'd just be, you know, just see what their reaction is to what they think is a lie, but it's really the truth. Yes, yes. Uh, right, back to the Jedi Council, who are still standing where they are. They haven't moved. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? It, well, uh, no, I couldn't find anything. What are you talking about? The Council must be told of what we found there. All we right. Found an incomplete star map, Master Vandar. And an ancient droid that mentions something about a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Aww. Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. Oh? I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The Star Map in the Ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Uh, I am ready to do the Council's will. Actually, no, sounds like a suicide mission. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on? Peace, wow, Luke. take a joke. We have discussed this. There is no other choice. The Jedi what? numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet, if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Are you telling me that you knew I was going to be this irrational about everything and this childish? Good, only to have this will slow me down. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Ooh. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. <laughs> Uh, great. Bastila and the Catwoman. Anything else you want to stick with me? Of course. Stick me Those with? who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. 
Uh, when do I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. Wow! The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Cool. Dark side points. Cool. <laughs> I really am dark side. Let's uh, make our way to my ship. Wow, that is really getting red now. Seriously getting red. Uh, oh wait, I need to transit back. Back to your previous location? What? Oh, oh blimey, I can actually go back to where I was. Oh. Okay. That kind of reminds me of uh, the stronghold stuff. Mm. Alright, let's go back to our ship. We shall leave Dantooine and then we shall finish up in this what looks like is going to be about an hour long episode. Pro it's going to be an hour long just to start us back on the path of KOTOR and then probably between like 30 minutes to an hour each time. Uh, I just I just wonder if you're even going to... Oh, Padawan, a word if I may. There are many rumours about your recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that they are sending you on a mission to help us get Malak and the Sith. Uh, my discussions with the council are none of your business. Please understand that I'm not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the order of the Republic. Whatever task the council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. What are you talking about? Master Durek has been training me to succeed him as chronicler here in the academy. In my studies, I've come across tales of creatures that are born to the dark side. Monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terran Tetek. A beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen into their ravenous hunger. Why are you telling me this? You have completed your initial training in the fraction of the normal time. The force is very strong with you. I'm afraid you might become the target for these creatures. The Terran Tatek is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong with a primal cunning, and they are, have an inborn resistance to the force. There are some who believe the Terran Tatek is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the galaxy to destroy the Jedi. Fortunately, the Terran Tatek is quite rare. They, on, they only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years! Sounds like they're extinct. This is not the first time the Terran Tech has vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized other, another great hunt to try to exterminate them. Uh, thanks for the warning. A final warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the Terran attack. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Yeah, what planet are they on? They're probably on a planet. You could tell me what planet they're on. That'd be great. Yeah, because they probably are just on a planet. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, something seems to be bothering Carp. Maybe you should speak to him. Fine. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, you've been very quiet lately. You know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Uh, left out of the loop? I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything, strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. Whoa. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. Maybe my dark side is brushing on Bastila. Ooh. Um... They thought it was more important that I helped find star maps and stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they don't they have to train you? Uh I've done pretty well so far. That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Uh, are you... Uh, no. Um... Basil and I have a bond. We have to do this together. That's all I'm going to say. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. 
I am not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look. Whoa. I didn't mean it that okay. way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Wow. The dark side, it really is brushing on him. They're brushing on everyone. It really does affect the whole team. Wow. Right, let us leave. Let us leave. Dantooine, uh, if I can remember how. Uh, you go to the front, which I believe is this way. Nope, it's not this way. <laughs> Silly me. It'd be nice if you could zoom out, but oh well. T three M T three four M four. Really? Beep beep boop, boop, boop. Um. Never mind. How did we get destroyed again? I can't remember. When did we get destroyed? Wow. That's bad of me that I don't remember. Zalbar. Oh yeah, of course we got Zalbar as well, didn't we? Right, uh, this is the front of the ship. Yes, there we go. Righto. This is the galaxy map. The Ebon Hawks onboard navigational computer. O okay. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the galaxy map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. A destination is still stored in the Ebon Hawks computer from the last trip Davik made with it. Alright. So... We now have a choice of four planets. Oh, we can go to Yavin? We can go to Yavin. Wow. I didn't know you could go to Yavin. Okay, maybe we'll go to Yavin at some point for whatever reason. Maybe maybe we did go to Yavin for a long time ago, but I just can't remember. As in, when I was doing this playthrough on my own. So, I'm actually going to let you guys choose where we go first. So, there is a poll in the description, I don't know if you've noticed it already, that will let you decide where we go. I don't know how many of you are going to vote, because I don't know how many of you are actually watching this, and how many of you have actually got to this point. But we have a choice. We can go to Kashik, which is the home planet of the Wookiees. We can go to Korriban, which is the home planet of the Sith-ish, kind of. It's where the Sith are kind of doing their training and stuff. We can go to Tatooine, which is like the home planet of like the Jawas and things like that, and I, I kind of like going to Tatooine, Tatooine's place. Or we can go to the, the Manan, which is the native species of the Selkath, which are like those sort of fish kind of people with the little gloopy things hanging from the sides of their faces. You'll, you'll see when you see them. So, what's it going to be? Vote in the poll, and then next episode... We will go there. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to have Nazi Old Republic back. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.